so I'll ask you this to start. Um, what, it's got to be nice to be at home again after, I mean, you guys have played eight of your last ten on the road. Uh, I don't know what kind of grind that is. I mean, can you talk about, one, being it back at home, but also the to go eight and two over those ten games and with most of them being on the road has to be, you must feel pretty good about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, uh, it's yeah, it's great being home. I think all the guys uh, have been really upbeat, excited this week. Uh, you know, just knowing that we don't have to pack our bags and and go on a long road trip again this weekend. Um, you know, we're excited. I think um, you know we've been playing great at home. You know, ever since last season, taking it into this season, and uh, the crowd has been great every single game. So we're really looking forward for that energy and and just being back on our own home ice. Just to go back to the what you have done on the road. I mean, you don't want to lose any games, obviously, but to that was what kind of grind was that to go that long um, with that many road games and to come out pretty successfully in in that and not really put yourself um, behind in a stretch where even other good teams could you know trip a little bit in those at those times. Um, yeah, I think it's it was one of our goals right off the start of the season to be to be good on the road, and I think we got off to a really hot start in that department, and and then before the trip started, you know, going to Ferris, um, we had that little hiccup against St. Cloud, and we knew that we, you know, had to play with a a lot different mentality on the road, and uh, we were able to establish ourselves in Ferris and kind of take that momentum into Bowling Green. I think helped a lot being able to. Um, Go back to back games with uh, the start we wanted and and putting on the pressure right off the bat was uh, really big for our success. Kind of going forward here, and I you know don't know how you guys are you know you guys had played a little shorthanded on on Friday or on Saturday night and and came out of that game um, with, with with a big win. How how big was that win for you guys? And just in terms of uh, finding a way to get that done at Bowling Green, and then um, how can you know taking that into um, this week against Bemidji? Um, it was big. I mean, it was a big moral win for us. I think anytime you come back from behind and, and turn a game around is is a big morale win. Um, obviously, you know Dryden McKay having a great game. Uh, you know, keeping it at two and not letting a third one going in was a big part for us. And then uh, finally converting on the power play. Um, you know, in the third period, without some of our you know offensive weapons, I think was also a great step for us. You know, really just uh, being able to use everybody we got and and showing that we're you know as deep as any team in the country. And and even though with uh, guys missing, we're able to uh, stick to our game plan and you know, uh, come out on top. Individually, Parker, you've been on a little bit of a roll here as of late. Um, senior players play a lot of hockey for us, and uh, uh, and you're in the second half of uh, your final season here. Um, do you feel any different uh, heading into the uh, the stretch here as we head toward the postseason with some of this stuff, or is it just business as usual? How do you, how do you chalk up uh, some of this offensive success you've been having to? Um, you know, sometimes it's it's really hard to hard to grasp of of, of what, it, what it really is. I think uh, it's a combination of a lot of things right now. Obviously, Lucas Souter and and Mark Michaelis playing the way that they were playing, and and I think our our line had some really good chemistry in in those stretches of games, and then. You know, being a senior, kind of having that confidence that I've, you know, played in this league for the past three years, and and knowing that um, I've had a lot of offensive success, and just being able to, you know, kind of learn the things that that I've picked up in, in my years before, just uh, you know, shooting a lot of pucks, getting uh, getting pucks on net, and and staying there, uh, playing for rebounds, and then, you know, obviously on the power play, you want to make sure that you take advantage of the opportunities you get, and. I think that's been one of my strengths throughout, you know, my career here is being able to uh, create a lot of offense on the power play. You know, even if it's not a goal, creating some momentum for our team with uh, shots on net and, uh, yeah, like I said, line mates and the combination of shooting pucks and staying there, I think, has been one of the big reasons for my success as of late. And relative to this weekend with uh, Bemidji State coming to town, you've already played them once this year. You played them several times over the course of your career here with the Mavericks, and you got to play them four more times, including this weekend uh, here in the next little while. What do you expect out of Bemidji State this weekend? Um, I mean, pretty much the same as always. Uh, I mean, they're a really well-coached team. They have 
you know, offensive threats with uh, Charlie Combs, Brady, um, you know, Aaron Miller. They got some weapons up front, and also their decor is young, fast, and and they can defend. So, um, you know, for us, it's it's going to be important to to really make sure that we're uh, you know ready to work hard against a group that has always worked hard and and they don't you know they're very disciplined they're not going to take a lot of penalties so we have to make sure that you know it's going to be a long 60 minutes of five on five hockey and uh you know try to play our game as much as possible great thanks very much parker thanks